Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Good morning to you. We're out working the barn early in the morning and it's already getting hot, hot, hot. But I wanted to show you our new Silky Babies. I've already done a video uh, and posted a video on uh, our first little Silky being born under hatched under Miss Broody Mama here. And this is Broody Daddy. Oh yes, can we talk about him? What a stud. Now, we had three little eggs. Now remember, I originally had four. We lost one. That's how we knew that the eggs were actually fertile because on day 11, we had a farm accident and the egg was dropped. And we got to investigate the embryo. But nonetheless, we couldn't save it. We just chopped it up for experience. You're hearing all the morning craziness behind us. Cochise is running around. And um, so she had three eggs under her. She had already selected these eggs. We've talked about this before. So we let her sit. We've transferred the broodies actually over here into the barn. And she just continued to stay broody. We got to day 23 and we weren't seeing anything in terms of hatching. Now remember, when a broody mama selects her eggs, it's, it, it, depending on the timeline, if you didn't give her the eggs and time them, you know, it's very likely that she could have been sitting on them for a couple of days. Hi, hey, sweetie. Come here. This is the newest baby. So on day 23, I was just concerned that with the change from the coop to over in here, um, you know, this is her first time being broody. Maybe, you know, they look fertile. I actually candled the eggs and they look, but you know, it looked not a whole lot of movement. I just wasn't sure. So I came out here. Nonetheless, the day, the moment I was actually going to pull them. Come on, daddy. Tell them what to do. Yeah. Um, I discovered the first hatching. So, and it took a three day period. So the dark one that's already gone under mama. The dark silvery gray one was number one. The next day, okay, easy, easy. The next day we had baby number two, and then day three, which I wasn't sure. This is the last one yesterday. So I just wanted to show you. She is sitting with him. This is one of my roosters. This is Gossamer. I actually did not think. Oh, thank you. Okay, back off, back off my babies. He is actually mothering the babies. Um, all of my. What are y'all doing? Scuffle, scuffle. Um, as you know, my silkies are separate. My silkies are completely separate and enclosed in a stall, and then my quail are over above me. But, um, <laughs> are you hearing all our craziness? Just wanted to show you they're doing really well with mom, all hatched. Dad is taking care of mom, and a lot of the other silkies that are over here stretching around come over and they mother the babies and sit with the babies as well. Well, honey, let's go under mama. Come over here. Come here, you go under mama. Come on, go under her. She'll open up. She loves to tuck them under her wings. Looky there. Right under the wing, guys. <laughs> Tucked right warm. She's really been being really great. She's very calm. She's very motherly. Uh, and we're just enjoying the silkies, guys. I, this is why I added silkies to my farm, because they're just such good birds, easy-going birds, great broody mamas. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you see here at Appalachia's Homestead, be sure to like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. We'll be showing you more footage of all the cuteness. Who doesn't love that? God love it. Y'all have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.